Kan shalom, all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yashai Bashim Kaktash, the honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the hopeful elect is pushing his truth and sincerity. So, yeah, man, this is, uh, this is going to be a reaction on, um, it's actually a mainly a, a reaction on this comment being placed by the second in command of, uh, of GMS Camp Holland, uh, who goes by the name Yama Allah. You know, um, it's not a new thing that he is uh, dropping all type of uh, ludicrous, just straight out bugged out comments on uh, on the internet. But with this one, he really he really showed himself to have a bitter and a grudgeful spirit inside of him, man. You know, and the thing, the thing that I'm going to do is I'm going, I'm going to address this whole thing, man. Because when you want to call somebody a thief, and you don't tell people how the story went, you're just spreading some, some, some mad information. You're showing some, some madness in the mind of people, man. You gotta understand that this man is accusing me for stealing a camera charger understand what type of what type of madness this 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 man is doing man so let's let's go to the first piece man because this video was being made by a brother called uh the brother was called is called regal you know and he's also in um in the camp of gms camp holland <clears throat> the video was actually in a, a reaction on on my camp you know me and the brothers who are teaching concerning uh, what was taking place within my camp you had certain brothers speaking through me you know you had uh, um, uh, the wife of one brother was standing next uh, next to him and she was also uh, certain times she was in in, in, in uh, the footage and also um, you know there was a piece where she was holding the Bible of the brother while he was while he was speaking and at that moment she was also reading certain scriptures so those things were, were noticed you know uh, the things were said about this brother uh, concerning his hair but also other uh, carnal statements offensive things you know personal attacks were actually made towards brothers for uh, for no reason so brothers brothers got moved in anger concerning what was being said and um, in order to, uh, to, to, to prevent any form of escalation I called I called Regal you know and I have everything you know because I had to I had to write things down on paper man there were so many things coming up into my mind concerning this whole situation like I really took time to meditate about what to mention and I want to be straight to the point man because I'm not in this truth to entertain these type uh, these type uh, these type of things man you know I was put out of GMS Camp Holland and I'm focused on my salvation. So if you if you have those <coughs> mainly one person, Yama Allah, still stuck with that grudge, that bitter spirit that's on him. I'm not occupied with those things. So I called Regal after seeing his video, which existed out of correction concerning my camp and personal attacks towards towards brothers. The personal attacks stirred a lot of anger up inside of many, many of many of the brothers, man. You know, and uh, I said I would call the brother um, Ragal, and this is the first scripture that came to my mind. Let's get that. You know, I was planning to make one fit, but maybe the, depending on how long it's going to take. I will split. Uh, I will split the video in two parts, man. So this is in the book of uh, Proverbs 15, verse one. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. I called him up, man. I called. I called and I said, "Shalom, Akiyah, Bashim, Yishai, Wahara, Wachadash, Brakatam." I asked, "What's up with the video?" And he said, uh, "What did he say?" He said, "The the one, the Papiamento one." And I said, "No, the last one." So he asked, "Who is this?" And then I said, this is, uh, this is me, Khasiat. So we talked about the video and I mentioned the piece where he speaks about the brothers who are speaking through me and the woman next to, next to the brother holding the Bible. 
which seems as if she is also in the camp and, and other, point, other points we were speaking about. So I explained that I understood what he was saying and I acknowledged what he was saying and I mentioned unto him like I'm already working on these things, you know, I already spoke with the brothers concerning the things that, that I saw also when I was renaming, renaming the fits. So concerning the wife of the brother on camera and what people could assume, I felt in my spirit while renaming the fits that people could make all kind of things from it. If they would see us standing there night right next to the brother on camera. So I explained she does not read for me and that she uh, was holding his Bible while he was speaking. And while waiting, she, she read some scriptures, which when a woman does, she needs to be covered. So I agreed with what the, what the brother said. Concerning the personal attacks, I mentioned that it was not necessary, not edifying, but also carnal. And the brother acknowledged and apologized, and the brother was forgiven. I asked him if he could remove the fit, and he removed it while he was still on the phone with me. I mentioned not to have any art or anything against him or the brothers from Camp Holland. And that I hope for mercy from Yahweh Bashim Yashai uh, to be saved. And that I hope also the same for all the brothers of Camp Holland. We spoke about our past, how I visited his place, how I danced and also played with his son. And I was like, you know, I have no, I have no problem with him. And you know how I, how I was and how I'm still for, for just in case if you don't know, how I still look at, at, the, at the brother, man. You know, I mentioned not to have ought against Yama Allah either, which is the second in command. And how I had a vision about how we reconcile, you know, because... <clears throat> My mind was continually focused on looking for ways in how to solve the situation between me and Yama Allah. Even though I was put out of the camp, in my mind, when you go, when I, when I, when we go to the Passover, or when you go to the Day of Atonement, you you think about things like you pray unto the Most High to to get things fixed. Many a times, the elder the elder uh, Manatasak has mentioned about reconcile, you know, squash the beef. I believe it is also Elder Bishop Sakharan who mentioned before Yahweh Shai comes back, squash the beef, squash any art, squash any argument that you have. You know, so my mind my mind was truly on that. I'm, I ain't I ain't about keeping some some hate or anger inside of me. I ain't about that man. So I explained, I explained unto Ragal that I had this vision, and in that vision I reconciled with Jama Allah, <clears throat> and that I sent Jama Allah an SMS, and that I would like to meet with him on that Sunday. And this message was, uh, I believe, it was sent 20 September 2020. My mind was so open and in willingness that he could mention any day, and I would be there. I'm all for solving things as men face to face, even if it would mean after fixing that we had to part away, I would be done with that. You know? But he never replied. He never replied on any attempt that I made in solving the situation. This this is this is the first and only reaction that I saw from Yama Allah this this is this is the only reaction on all the attempts all the trying that i that i saw after i got kicked out of um, out of gms camp holland you know so regal said but he needs to make a fit to point out that we ain't part of gms camp holland and i was like jama allah put me out and he would mention this towards towards i believe and then i think that it will be the elder that he's in contact with so he would mention unto the elders that I'm no longer part of GMS Camp Holland. So it was kind of, I kind of thinking that it's kind of strange that it is needful to mention that I'm not part of GMS Camp Holland. It also made me think about this thing because I was on a video from uh, <clears throat> the elder pastor Oramlav. You know, and the video was something in the way like, what is this video? You know, if you don't, yeah, you're not of the elect if you know if you're not if you're not growing, you know. And I dropped the I dropped the um, which was a scripture. 
Shirak 24 verse 31 concerning uh, watering the garden you know and the elder the elder apostle Aramla reacted and understand man I, 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 I drop comments and I move I'm on my bike or, or I go to the store you know I'm, I'm moving while I'm listening and sometimes I react you know and I believe the elder apostle Aramla mentioned something like that's the brother from from Holland I don't know if the elder pastor Aramlap thought that I was in GMS Camp Holland or he merely mentioned that I'm from Holland because it is in my name. I'm not in GMS Camp Holland because the GMS acronym was removed as soon as I was placed out of out of uh, GMS Camp Holland. So, the, you know, all these things went to my mind and while I was meditating, like, what really started this? this and I was thinking, like, I think that was the moment when it got started certain men took it and ran with it or it might even be that the elder apostle thought that it was in GMS I don't know but through my meditation I was sitting and I was thinking like I think this is what truly moved it <coughs> and that's how it started to walk you know and Ragal, Ragal made his fit which if he wanted to make a fit, you can make a video to point out that the certain things that you see within my camp taking place, which is not right and that you, if you believe that there was need to, to point out that we're no longer part of GMS Camp Holland, you're free to do so, you know, so uh, I was thinking the following I'm no longer part of, I am no longer part of it, of, of GMS, the camp GMS by itself. And I've never claimed yet to be in GMS Camp Holland. As I say, I removed the GMS in front of my name. So, I still, I still, but I already explained like from where it might be coming, you know. I do acknowledge my teacher, so every time when I open up, I say double honest to my elder apostles from Great Millstone, from who I've learned this truth. And from whom I'm still learning this truth, you know. So, after I mentioned all these things, we finished our phone talk, and we said shalom to each other. Ragal makes his new fit, and later I hear that um, the video that Ragal made on his page was also placed on the GMS Camp Holland, the main page. And the Jama Allah wrote an outrageous text with insults and grievous accusations, which is this comment. Let me see where it is, man. Which is this this comment where he accusing me from, from being a thief, saying that I know understand this is about a church, and I'm gonna explain the whole story because this is this is just crazy what he's doing over here, man. This is just crazy. And then he says, and if he wants to battle, then I will I would um that what I just said about him, then let there be two or three witnesses in this case, and the entire camp be a witness against him. We in Sakar, we don't have false witnesses, nor lies against anyone in judgment, nor a heathen. I will explain the whole story about the charge in the appointed time. I'm gonna take things step by step because there are so many things that I have to mention. This this is this this is just crazy, man. The way how he portrays me over here is this is crazy. And you gotta understand when you see a person put a comment like this i've seen many people coming on my comment board and those people are not they <laughs> you can say a lot of things about them but when you see somebody typing a crazy long ass a long ass uh, 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 comment you know what time it is man you know so let me just go into it man let me just go into it man it says a comment or a text filled with a lot of breathful hate that's what you see breathful hate a filled with a grudge in one word described this is this is this is bitterness bitterness on a whole other level which which you read about it and I'm sure you've never experienced bitterness as this in your life before but he's displaying it without without any sense of understanding how he, how he's putting himself out there. He really thinks that he he is putting me on blast with the madness that he's spewing. All the things that he's saying, I'm 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 gonna address all of it, man. You know, 
but he is not understanding that he is displaying no form of self-control no form of of a uh, uh, um, uh, uh, mind of Yahweh Shai is what you will find in what is taking place in this comment you know so I took the time to meditate you know I was in the night shift that big working from 10 to 6 whole rhythm was totally moved so I was I was taking my time meditating on how to react on this thing and I want to react spiritually, man. I don't want to react carnally, like being the same type, coming up with a whole comment type. No, man, you did, you did. You. No, man. <laughs> I'm going to react based with the scriptures and show you what is taking place and why this man is still doing what he's doing. After two years, after two years, you still want to bring up the fact how I, in my haste, took your charger and placed it together with my phone in my back and you want to call me a thief. This is, this is, you got to understand how crazy it sounds. When I, when I was reading it, I was like, yo, are you, are you fucking serious, man? And then you're trying to portray, <laughs> hey, let's go, man. Let's go, man. I'm, I'm going to get a couple of scriptures about this, man. You know, I prayed unto Yahweh by Hashim and Shai to guide me and to react properly, man. I don't want to get moved by the emotion because when you read certain things, the things that this man is saying, man, you... <laughs> You gotta understand, man. If this would happen in the world, it would already be a fight. But knowing that we come into this truth, we have to change ourselves and we have to apply the wisdom of the Most High. We have to apply the wisdom of the Most High, man. You know? Yahweh Tasta, I do so in this fit as well, man. The first scripture that I want to bring out is this one, man. The book of Proverbs, chapter 18. This man loves to say like I'm gonna bring him to the judge. I'm gonna bring him to the judge. You don't fear. And there's another statement that he made that I, I don't fear the Most High. Do you fear the Most High when you may you make certain statements about those men who are in this truth, fearing the Heavenly Father, those who are in the faith of the Most High, the babes believing in the Most High? You just speak as if there's no uh, uh, reason to fear about what you say and how you react especially onto younger brothers as you being in this truth over i believe 12 or 14 years he is in this truth but still displaying this type of carnal outrageous behavior man while he should be an example onto the younger brothers look 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 at this look at this carnal conduct man and still being convinced that he is in his right mind when these things take place i'm just looking at it shaking my hands and i'm thinking like who's really correcting this man when he who's reproving him and to the spirit, the, the correction and the reproof came out, man. The elder Apostle Raka. I saw the elder Yashubamba made a video. So the correction is coming out, but how, how are these things being received? And what is it doing inside of the mind of a person? This video is mainly to show you how my stance was back then and how my mindset is on to this very day concerning this situation. How I tried, how I, how I attempted many a times to fix the situation but if you're dealing with a hot hat if you're dealing with a person that is simply saying that you never apologized or you never sincerely apologized what are you what is, what is it that you can do what is it that you can do let me get this man the book of prophets chapter 18 verse 17 i'm gonna go a little bit briefly because i have to wake up again tomorrow early for work for the plantation you know so let's go man he did his uh, prophets 18 verse 17 he did his first in his own case seem it just and that's him he really thinks that he is right or that he already won the case because that's his mind to him he really wants it to be a case if a person if you have to look at the whole situation and what it took place how he dealt with it even even concerning everything that is taking place right now if you see anything that is that is not right concerning how i'm how i'm moving and how things are going within my camp you know and you know me you have dealt with me why don't you give me a call why don't you react and deal with the situation on the other way you know here we are living in the netherlands and even though i live three hours away from from yama Allah, who lives in amsterdam you can give a call you can react to my text message you can say okay you can go this uh, uh, you can come this or this day and we can talk we can solve this thing 
But none of that is taking place. The only thing, the only thing that is on his mind is fighting and boring or or just hoping that you get judged, holding on to any moment where he felt offended or done wrong. It says, but his neighbor cometh and searcheth him, but his neighbor cometh and searcheth him. Now you're going to hear the whole other side of the story. You, you tell people about me because I know how it goes. The man, the second in command, being in contact with the elder in America, speaking in a way. And if a person, a person, people are very quick to, 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 to get moved by, by status or position, man. Don't get fooled by anything, man. Just because a man is in a high position doesn't mean that he's representing or is truly living according to that position, man. There are many people in high places who are not... The, the most the most tight does things on this earth in his way, man. Don't don't be naive in thinking that all the people that are in high positions are truly in the spirit and in the will of the most high. They got carnal men, bitter cold uh, uh, men in this truth who are merely doing whatever they want with a mindset of thinking like they can get away with doing whatever they do or saying whatever they can say onto a younger brother in the faith only because they're longer in this truth. That's that mindset that, that many have in this truth, man. You know, so let's let's just go on, man. Because this is a this is the first uh, one of the first things that actually came into my mind. You know, because uh, I mentioned to the brothers like I'm gonna take my time to sit and to meditate about this situation because I'm gonna react properly. You know, I'm not gonna be hastily in uh, in my reaction concerning how to how to react on these things because if you react rashly. You're gonna you're gonna say and you're gonna do things which is not which is not according to the spirit. The book of Sirach chapter 20 verse 5, there's one that keepeth silence and is found wise, and another by much babbling becometh hateful. And that's what I did. I kept, I kept myself uh, silent and I meditated. Well he 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 did the, he did much <laughs> he did much typing and much which which if he's not typing he's he is he is talking and he's very he's very talkative man let me say it like that you know the scripture might use all the term but i'm gonna just say he is talkative you know and especially if you see comments like this this is the same energy but with he talks or speaks towards you you know if somebody is really in this energy towards you man it's really stirring up a certain strife a certain tension or a certain let's get that man let's get that later man because if, let me finish up this first that's what it does if if you're dealing with a hot head it's going to lead only to to strive to fight to battle to quarrel some man there's no calmness there's no looking towards a solution for for the things that is taking place this the mind is continually occupied in finding blame in you and justifying the anger and the bitterness that is growing and growing and growing and growing to to a dangerous point of not only self-destruction but also pulling others into this destructive behavior man and it's blinding it's blinding because the man who is who is who is who is doing it is not even aware of how destructive he is moving right now it says a wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity i kept patient i kept silent you know in my mind i was thinking like you know someday i'm going to speak about it but the most i didn't allow me to speak the most i had sh the most i showed me so many scriptures i was like do i have to bring out all these scriptures I'm just sitting and scriptures popping up, situations going going on in my mind. I'm like, do I have to, 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 to address all these things? There were so many things. So I really had to, to select, to pick and to decide, okay, I'm going to bring this, I'm going to mention this, I'm going to mention this. Because if I have to bring out all those things, it will be way longer than, than I, I believe that this video is going to be. I will be here sitting for, for, for hours, man mentioning things bringing out scriptures man it says a wise man holdeth his tongue till he see opportunity but a babble and a fool will be got no time he that useth many words shall be abhorred and he that taketh to himself authority therein shall be hated you see so it doesn't matter what you do when you are in a situation with him you can humble yourself you can you can ask for forgiveness his answer will be 
oh you're sincere you you're still like yeah your 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 excuses is no your apology is not sincere like what do you want from me man what is it that you want you want war you want to fight you want to keep the hate that is inside of you and you want to justify that is all there is no other way there is no other way with him You know, because brothers might say like somebody has to take the humble road, humble, humble route. You can, you can humble yourself. You can crouch. You can, you can bend your face to the ground to this man, and it still ain't good enough. You know, it still ain't good enough. You gotta, you gotta jump to a fiery hoop in the way how he wants to, how he wants you to jump. Do a, do a salt, a front flip to a, to a fiery hoop. You know. If you don't crawl in the way how you need to crawl towards him, you're a coward. You you a coward because, hey man, it's crazy. It's it's just crazy, man. The Book of Proverbs 16 verse 32: He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth the spirit than he that taketh the city. This man is a hot head, a hot head. You can't commune with him. If you bring out scriptures, he gets angry. While well, this is all we about, man. I live and I and I and I teach. I apply the scriptures. So when I'm when I'm in a situation, I bring out scriptures. But when you bring out scriptures towards him, or when I bring out scriptures, he gets angry. Why do you get angry? Isn't this what we all about? You know, I'm not leaning up on my own understanding. I'm coming up with my opinion. With my, I feel I want no man. I bring scriptures. Everything that I do is according to the script. But that moves him even further into wrath. In the book of Proverbs 15, the book of Proverbs 15, verse 18, it reads, "A wrathful man stirred up strife. He's a wrathful man, <clears throat> wrathful, bitter, grudgeful. Put them all in the mix, and you got you got a very destructive person in front of you, man. Who who doesn't care? Who's doing things, saying things without any form of shame, without any form of thought, like." How could people look at me when I'm saying these things? When I'm displaying myself in this way, I don't think that this is the first time that that he is displaying himself in this way. This man, he is known for placing comments in this way, uh, uh, in this fashion. You know, threatening people, telling telling people that he's going to kill. He's going to kill brothers in the faith, brothers in the faith that believe that I even that I may, they may they may even abide in the same doctrine. But only because of your anger, only because of your hate, only because you feel offended, you you are capable of sending death threats towards brothers, babes in the faith, talking about I'ma kill your mother, I'ma kill your spouse. Like <laughs> you read these things and you're just shaking your head. You'd be like, yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? The book of Ephesians. The book of Ephesians, chapter four. The book of Ephesians, chapter four, starting at verse thirty-one. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you, with all malice. Let it go. Don't don't bring your carnal way which you had in the world into this truth. Don't don't justify yourself because you're in 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 a in a, in a high position of thinking that you can just say and do whatever you want onto a younger brother. Being in a way with which you see, with which you are the one, the all knowing about anybody's fault. But as soon as you get reproved, as soon as you get pointed about your 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 ways, you just get angry. And be kind one to another, and tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as the Most High of Mashiach's sake had forgiven you. Knowing mercy, and when I say mercy, don't be partial in being mercy, because this thing, this thing goes way further than talking about how I feel. He feels offended. I feel offended. How many a times you think you offended brothers, man? How many a times you think you offended me? But am I going to be all, all swallowed up in my emotion? Man, you offended me, man. You offended me. I ain't about that, man. The Most High, the Most High, to the to His beloved Son, taught us to be merciful, to forgive, and not to be partial in mercy and, and to be merciful, man. 
you know just because you may not like how a brother speaks you may not like the hobbies because a brother is, is occupied in chess and has whole other interests than you have because a brother is quiet man I don't like he's quiet so what so what not everybody is an extrovert you got an introvert you got a quiet spirit they got those who are occupied you know who moved and who have joy in just moving and walk taking walks to the park exercising fishing having a whole other spirit the way how they speak using whole other verbs terms terms you may not know you you just you just want to mock and you just want to speak evil because the word said that i use man this this hate that is inside of this man is way bigger than merely talking about i feel offended i feel offended you just got a problem against me as a person who i am the things the things that i do the way how i do things the way i speak you got always got something to say look look at his check look at his look at his jacket and then you want to steal other brothers also in in trying to laugh about the way how i what what type of jacket i'm wearing like what what is this man you come into this truth you would expect some some uh, 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 adult developed spiritual mindset but then you still deal with with all type of childish childish foolery that you which you really sit and think like what is this man many a times i mention these things like don't don't come up with those things with me man if you if if that's you then do be be in that way towards each other man but don't bring don't pull me in in, in things like let me get that scripture man that spirit of justice man i ain't about that man i ain't about that man call me boring or whatever man but i ain't i ain't about jesting I, that's not my spirit man satan all of you see who it goes with satan I believe it is in ephesians 5 let me get it man that's how it goes try it one more time and I'll, otherwise i'll bring it out later okay here it is ephesians Ephesians 5 here it is I just want to show uh, show you the the scripture where it speaks about Justin man neither Philistine let, let's get it but, but Ephesians 5 and 3 but fornication and all uncleanness and covetousness let it not be once named among you as become its saints neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor Justin which are not convenient but rather giving thanks may you go into the meaning of the word Justin you know Justin is Justin is, um, is, is truly a proud a proud thing to do it requires a mindset to look down or to think you're funny and using somebody as a stepping stone. That's that's the that's the mind behind jesting, man. Strong's G twenty one sixty. Utrapelia. 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 I mean you almost it almost sounds like as in you trap, you wanna trap, you wanna you wanna stomp, you wanna use somebody as a stepping stone, man. Just is that's the spirit, man. You know? Plus century, humor facetiousness in a bad sense yeah man because you're scorning you it, it is it is low blows you know just 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 foolery man just straight up foolery man there's no other way of mentioning it man just straight up foolery that's what it is man it doesn't play the mind it doesn't display any mind of how we shy man you know so uh let's go into the book of leviticus the book of leviticus leviticus 19 Leviticus 19 verse 18 thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself so let's go I am the Lord Jehovah Bashmir Shai let's let's go into the book of Leviticus over here and let's get the meaning of the word grudge because that is what is inside of him and he may deny it, he may not even be aware of it, he might be like, no, it's not true, it's not true. But that's what it is, and I'm sure that everybody can see it, man. Bitterness, grudge, a, a grudge, hate, and, and the, the, these demons, these demons having a blast with him, messing up with his mind, causing him, causing him to display himself in ways, which is just, it's, it's just, it's just outrageous, man. It's just outrageous how a man can display himself in this way and really think that he's in his right mind. Saying things, not explaining it, how it really went, 
you know, portraying, portraying, portraying a picture of somebody by saying he never apologized sincerely. In the other one, he's saying he never apologized. Like you, 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 you just, you just say things only to justify the hate and the bitterness that is growing inside of you, man. Strong's age fifty-two oh one. Not tear. Not tear. Let me see what it says over here, man. To keep. And what is it to keep? To keep that bitterness inside. To keep and to maintain in that bitterness. In that anger. To cherish that anger. To bear grudge. To reserve. To hold it in. Not to let go. Not, not to be able to, to, to forgive. You know? And the way how he's convincing himself is by saying that I never, that I never admit, that I never, I've never uh, asked for forgiveness. In the other one, he's saying I never asked for forgiveness in sincerity. When you look at the whole situation, you're trying to understand, and I'm trying to give people the understanding of what is taking place. It goes back to not to forgive one and to hold on to any moment which was perceived as offense or done wrong onto him without acknowledging how he offended and how he had done wrong onto me and also onto others. There is no balance in what he's doing and in what he's saying. But the difference is, I let go. I don't keep it. He keeps it and allows spirits to mess him up. Till the point he, display, he displays it publicly while thinking he's, he's doing the right thing. The book of Shirak, let's get the book of Shirak, man. There's a scripture. The book of Shirak, chapter 10, verse 6. Bear not hatred to thy neighbor for every wrong. This is what he's doing. Any mistake which could be perceived as a mistake, where really you got robbed wrong, where which you looked wrong towards him. Even when we sit in the communication, we will communicate with each other, we're in the council. I sit, I look, I focus, and I listen. He says, man, you mean mugging me. You mean mugging me. I'm like, what? Now I'm mean mugging? You got, now you got something to say about the way how I'm looking and listening to you? There's, there's so much hate grown inside of him. And he is continually meditating about all oh, any mistake, any any way how you mispronounce anything that you did wrong in his eyes is just is just going over and over, running like a video, a video over and over in his mind, and he's just growing and growing in hate. And these demons are just having a blast inside of him, man. And do nothing at all by injurious practice. When you when you speak about the injurious practice, there are certain examples which were portrayed towards me, which are the injurious practices. Uh, towards me i'm going to speak about those things later but i'm still i'm first want to go i want to go step by step and pointing out in what has taken place because the the injurious works are wishful spirits is a wishful is a wishful mind where he's very quick to to hope destruction disease and and death upon you over over the most the most petty things you know over the most petty things here i am at your house you know, we were there, we talked, we communed, and this is why before you, he placed me out. But this, hey, if you just, if you just understand what is all, has been said and has been done from his side onto me, and how how I maintained calm. You, I don't know if other person would be the same way calm as I would be to all the things that I experience. I'm sure, like I, I, I explained certain things onto the brothers, man, and many of them said like man i would already flipped i would already have done this i would have done that but yo i am who i am and i haven't dealt in 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 those ways when i dealt with him you know but let me just go let me just go on because i um i want to explain a lot of things with and a lot of things which i want to mention but i can't go in, into all things because then i will be speaking for hours and hours and hours and hours about what I have experienced, what I, how I dealt with the situation, how I main, my, how I maintain my calmness dealing with this man. People have no idea of how I dealt and how I maintained myself, man. And you want to speak so evil in in a, in a way you want to portray me as as the most evil, 
man. And then you dare to say that I don't fear the Lord. But do you fear the Lord, man? Do you fear the Lord when you display this type of madness, man? The hate is causing him to say and to do things which are which are practices of injuries, man. Without any sense or without any consideration, he is feeding these entities. You know? Um, something else which is also which I also mentioned is when when you made this when you make a statement like I never sincerely apologize, that's when you find a loophole. Let's go into the meaning of the word a loophole. An ambiguity or inadequacy in the law or the set of rules and escape clause. A loophole is the escaping of repenting and changing and acknowledging that you simply don't want to forgive. There's, there's a way that has been found to justify the bitterness and the grudge that is growing and growing inside of him. Yeah, but he never sincerely apologized. He, and then it jumps to he never apologized. He never admitted by doing this, he found a loophole to justify what is growing inside of him. And and I don't know how people look at this. It's it's not spiritual at all. You know? Who who are who are you to, to even say something like that? You his apology is not sincere. So now now you wanna now you wanna jump in in the seat of Yahweh Bashimashai in deciding when a man is or is not sincere. When somebody apologizes on to me, I'm not going to be in the spirit like, man, it's not sincere. And especially if it is someone in this truth, using the name Shehawah Ba'ashim Eshai. When I see a man being diligent, doing the works of the Most High, I ain't going to be in the spirit like, man, you're sincere. You're not sincere in your apology. I ain't going to forgive you. I'm going to keep the hate and the grudge inside of me towards you. But that's what you see with this with him the book of Sirach chapter 32 the book of Sirach chapter 32 verse uh, what is it verse 17 this video is merely to show you how I experience this type of behavior this breath this bitterness how I maintain myself focused on salvation and on, upon my brothers and those who were in the world just entering into the truth, feeding, feeding the sheep, prophesying against this wicked world, you know, and hoping for mercy. That's where my mind was, man, and still is. After this video, I maintain focused on my mission, man. I'm not here to go back and forth with, with, I'm not, hey, yo, man, this is, this, that's not where, where I'm in this, this truth about, man. The book of Sirach chapter 32, verse 17. A sinful man will not be reproved. He will not be corrected concerning this thing, man. Concerning this breath, this, 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 this carnal displaying, this, this bitter, this bitter way of being and, and, and uttering yourself. You know, he will not be, he will not be, he, he's not going, I'm, I'm, I don't, I can see that he is going to change what he is doing in this way. No matter if there will be, I believe, especially not if it's a younger brother who is pointing out these things. If an, if an elder, if, if, you know, I'm sure that if, if it will be one of the, one, one of the famous high, high, and, and one of the famous men already mentioned it, though the names were not mentioned, but you sit and you think like, how, how does one feel? Or how, do, uh, is, is, is a person going to meditate and think like, man, was I doing the right thing? Are, are these? Do you think that these questions will pop up in his mind? Is what I is what I sit and think. Questions like, did I do the right thing? Was was this in the spirit and in the mindset of Yahweh Shai? Does this display any form of 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 attempt of trying to fix things? What is what type of mind do you gotta have in order as understanding that Yahweh Shai is coming back? You know. Being, being proud of thinking you're already there or, or being convinced that this is the way I know what I I know how my mind is and what I tried and what, I, what my attempt is and this is the answers that I this is the answer that I get after my praying and my attempt and, and asking to meet up with him to speak face to face to solve things man this is what you get 
Yeah, he did this and all those things back those years. I want him to feel the same. Yo. That, that bitterness is truly destroying you, man. If you would be in a mindset of thinking about all the hurts and all the wrongs that has been done onto you by, by any individual and you'd be in a mind like, you gotta get the same thing back, how bitter would one be? How bitter would one be? Trying to imagine that I'm not the only one who might, who, who, unto whom he has this bitter energy, this, 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 this strife, this, this, this warlike mind that keeps going. Like I said, man, it's not the first time that he wrote these things. He's known for threatening people, people, brothers in the faith. So I really believe that the reproof needs to come from a higher, a higher place, from a higher position. You know, truly a call, talking with him like, yo, the thing that you're doing, just sitting and talking and explaining that this is not the right way of doing things and hoping that the, and I hope the most high to the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yishai, that they will be taking heed onto what is being said and explained you know it's crazy but he be, but he plays this comment right he plays his comment in his mind we go on in this thing man we go on in his mind, he's thinking he's in his right. He's displaying it publicly. Putting the blame on me. As if I never sincerely apologize. Which, you gotta understand, man. When when he says this, the thing that he means to say, he never sincerely apologized, so I don't forgive. I don't have to forgive him. Let's go to the book of Shirak chapter 28. It's a very dangerous thing, man. It's very, it's very destructive, man. And I don't want no part in this, man. I don't want no part in this, man. You try, you try, you humble yourself, you lower yourself. But when you, when you see that there's no, there's no way of dealing, of solving the situation, you leave, you leave him, you leave the man, you leave the man in, in, in that mind, you know, you leave him. The book of Shirak, chapter 28, verse 18. Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not so many as have fallen by the tongue. The tongue, the tongue, in the tongue lays life and death. You, with the things that you say, do understand what you say, man. Don't, don't be in a mindset of thinking that you can just say whatever you want, man. Unto whomsoever you want. Or get into a mind like, man, I'm longer in the truth. You were younger brother in the truth. I rule, I'm long, obey, obey them that are over you, getting into a spirit like that, exercising power or thinking that you're going to get away with the things that you do and say unto those that are younger than you in the truth. Be very careful about those things, man, and don't, don't get high-minded in, in how you treat brothers, man, because the most is looking at you, man. The scripture says, unto whom much is given, much is required. You should be an example unto the younger brothers, man, in righteousness sake. Not teaching them how to keep grudges and bearing hatred and being bitter. That's not the example that you're supposed to set for the younger brothers, man. Verse 25. And weigh thy words in a balance and make a door and a bar for thy mouth. You know, those words are not weighed, man. He never sincerely apologized. Not once. Do you know what you say, man? Do you really think that those words are weighed with balance, man? Your bitterness is clouding any form of sense, any any form of rational and understanding uh, 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 speaking. You read these comments, man. You'd be like, just trying to imagine how he's sitting behind his computer and typing these things. What type of energy, what, what type of spirits are, are taking over and how he's sitting, typing, smashing on those, smashing on those keys like most likely feeling himself laughing having an evil laugh because that's that that's that's how that's the energy that i get that get from it when i when i read this comment man i can't take it serious because i know what really happened and how it went down when a person leaves leaves your house i use your your your, your charger for the charging of my phone i have to leave in the haste 
in getting my train. I grab my phone and I grab your charger in the haste and you want to call me a thief. The first thing that I did, I wanted to send you the charger back. I live three hours away from this, from, from the, from your, from your Allah, man. And then the first thing, you thief, you stole my charger. Ha, ha, ha. I believe that the Lord placed the spirit upon you to take my charger so that you can get the full curse. Any day that the charger is in your house, it, it, it's going to be a curse onto you. I'm like, what? what? What are you talking about, man? I stole your charger? I'm like, yo, I'm going to send you the charger back. No, you're going to deliver it back. So he demands for me to go over to Amsterdam, take a three hour train to give him the charge while he sent me out of the camp. What do you, what do you, what is wrong with you, man? And then if I'm not wanting to bring the charge back, you want to call me a coward? Are you serious, man? But the people don't even know how the story really went and how petty, how, how, how pathetic, how pathetic it is how you reacted, man. You want to kick me out, but you still want to exercise power over me. This is crazy, man. Demanding of me to take a train three hours just to give a, a, a charger back, which I took by accident in my haste, calling me a thief. He a thief. You know what you did. Man, you, 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 you out there, man. You out there. Oh, man. Let me just calm down a little bit. You, you gotta understand man when you give a man a person power or a certain position it will it will it will fuck up their mind it will fuck up their head that's what happens man and one thing i have to say man you better you better get off that high horse of thinking that you can do and say whatever you want man onto a younger brother in the faith before the lord the lord will humble you man you might you might say things like i don't fear the lord but this thing this this what you're doing this is not the first time man you may be longer in this truth, but the things that I've seen and experienced, I understand and I know for sure that that ain't the right spirit. That ain't the example that Yahweh Shai gave unto us, man. I've never experienced anything, anything in this truth from anyone in the from anyone. No, no one I've seen ever drop a comment like and just 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 going and going, man. No, no self-control whatsoever, man. The Lord, the Lord can humble you, man. The Lord can humble you the way, the way how the Lord humbled Antioch in, in, in 2 Maccabees chapter 9. That's how the most I can humble you. You know, if you don't take heed onto what you say, you know. Because we are living in a time where you got to know what you say and against who you speak and in which way. Weigh your words. Speak balance. Don't accuse me of never sincerely apologizing. It's it's madness that you're uttering, man. Straight up madness. Because all the words that you say, the Lord will require it, man. Let, let's get that, man, in the book of Matthew. I'm not going to go into all those things, man, because also... Later, I want to speak about how how I got uh, suspended and how in this suspension, all of a sudden he want to put upon me that I'm no I'm not allowed to teach. Until nobody nobody in the camp did he ever say you're suspended and you're not allowed to teach. Only unto me he makes this because he knows how passionate I am, how I love to serve the Lord, and now you want to do me dirty by suspending me. And saying unto me, you're not allowed to teach him like, yo, what, what is this? What is this? When a man gets suspended, you get suspended to see how you're going to react, how you're going to deal with the situation. You're going to serve the Lord. You're going to go back into the world. But he really wants me to lose the spirit. He really wants me to become a bug out, to denounce his truth, to be to become a scoffer or a scorner towards my teachers from whom I learned this truth only because he has art against me. And so that when I lose when I lose the Holy Spirit, he can say like, yeah, man, I told you so. That nigga ain't right. That nigga ain't right. And so that you so that you just fully can go full, full throttle in, in, in your in your in your scoffing and scorning in your mockery videos. 
yeah, he's this, this was the Sega, this, the Sega, the same, the same, the same. The, these spirits, man. Hey, I ain't, I ain't about that, man. Just, just keep it far, far away from me, man. If that is what your mind is in his truth, understand, man. He is 14 years in his truth. He is on the level of having, of having knowledge. You should be occupied in, in prophesying, teaching and feeding the sheep. Don't be stuck in the past in, in growing in some bitterness and trying to fight. Because this, this ain't a fight you're fighting, but you're going to lose. You're going to lose the battle in the fact of losing. You, 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 you're jeopardizing your own salvation because of your bitterness, man. You're busy with fighting against me while I'm not occupied in fighting against you, man. Let me get this man in the book of Matthew chapter 12 verse, uh, verse 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account the wolf in the day of judgment. For by their words they shall be justified and by their words they shall be condemned. Your own words. So be careful in what you say. And like I said man, don't don't get things twisted, don't get it into your mind like yo, so he's making this fit, so now he's trying to say that he didn't do anything wrong. I make mistakes. I never said that I was without any fault, you know? But it's the way how you deal with the situation, how you deal with your mistakes. I will fall out trying to get up, trying to learn from my mistakes. I might bump my feet on the same stone two times, three times, man. But I'm still going and I'm learning, I'm trying. I ain't perfect. But I'm trying, I'm striving for perfection. The book of Matthew chapter 20, what is it in 24? Or is it in Proverbs? Oh no, it's in Proverbs, right? The just man. A just man fall at seven times. You know, which is which is the which is the perfect amount of times, man. Proverbs 24, first uh, what is it? 16. For a just man fall at seven times and rise it up again. We will fall. I fell, I fell many a times, man. I fell many a times, you know, but I get back up to the spirit and power and the mercy of your Bashim and Shai. But the wicked shall fall into mischief, man. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 64. Even we caught, even while we're caught into this truth to do what we have to do for the most time, with all the knowledge that we have, all this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all our righteousness is still as filthy wreck. So none of us can say you're perfect or without any fault, man being stuck in, in on an idea of, of repeating about how offended you got but do you consider do you do you meditate and and, and 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 think about how many times you have offended and does that stay you in thinking like i need to i need to calm down instead of being so uh, 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 vengeful and desirous in seeing and hoping for judgment to fall for for any moment that you got offended, for any for any hate and anger that is growing inside of you, man. So you want the most high to look at you in the same way. Because that's how you want to be towards towards anyone that is actually upon this earth. So that's the way how the most high should measure towards you when you make mistakes. The book of Isaiah chapter 64 verse, verse 6. But we are all as an unclean thing and all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we do fade as a leaf. And all our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. You know, so we, we, we all make mistakes, man. Even in this truth, we're trying to walk in the way of righteousness, but we still, we still make mistakes, man. We still fall, we still stumble, we still do the things which the Heavenly Father uh, 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 gets upset with. You know? It says, uh, where's the scripture that I want to go into, man? Just, just had it into my mind, but then it slipped. Just to think about it, man. There were things said in the past unto me, done unto me in the past. Things that is being said right now, done. But which you really can sit and question like, is this the right way of doing things, man? Is this really what feels right? Is this what really is being deemed as the mind of Yahushai? Is this really the, the, the example that you want to set forth on this earth? As striving, as being Yahweh Shai minded, being the physician, being the healer. 
what what is it that you're trying to portray upon this earth you want to portray grudge you want to portray hate you want you want to portray strife there where we, we we are building and 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 healing the breaches you got you got Esau, you got the heathens fighting against us, and then, then you have you have fellow Israelites who are so bitter, so caught up in their own emotions, stuck in it and still and still wanna fight you. Would love to see you get hurt. I ain't I am no part of that man. Just get it into your into your head. I am no part in that. I have no part in it, man. If you want to be like that, be like that, but don't don't involve me in it, man. That's not the energy that I'm feeding, that I'm sending upon this earth, man. That's not my energy, man. Opening up your comment like, let it be known that I have ought against me now, and now you you change the words, man, because you understand that you cut yourself with your with your with your with your madness, man. Then you dare to drop the the, the match of five and twenty two, but the first things that were mentioned in that in your in your, in your 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 comment let it be known i have ought against him man it's, it's, i read it i was like yo but then you then you drop the fifth the, the match five and 22 do you know how 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 double-minded it sounds and how you portray yourself man let's go to the book of uh, let's go to the book of first thessalonians chapter 5 like I said, man, I'm not going to go up on that carnal road. I'll show you by script that this is not, this is not, like, this is not the way how I'm going to be, re react upon this carnality, man. The book of uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 15. See that none bend the evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and unto all men. I will remain in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. And that's the spirit of, of, let's get it in the book of First Peter. That's this Peter, man. First Peter 2, verse 20. For what glory is it when you be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently. But if when you do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently. This is acceptable with the Most High. You go and suffer unrighteously in this truth. You, me, any brother is going to go to these things. You know? You you can get caught up in things like like you 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 feel offended, you felt done wrong, you felt brought wrong. And cleaving onto it, man. For even here unto where you called, because Mashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow his steps. But you need to follow in Yahweh Shai, not in your own mind. The scripture says follow the lord you know in in, uh, in the book of prophets let's get that man and that's where this truth is about following yahweh bashim yashai not your own mind not your own ways because th that's how that's how that's how the kind of mind operates man oh man he said this unto me he did that i'm gonna keep my hate i'm a man you're no longer in the world man the most high demands from you a whole other way of dealing with situations man and if you can't deal with it, then you are simply not in this truth, man. Don't portray yourself as if you truly are about this, man. Because you, if you don't want to be how the mind is of Yahweh Shai, then don't act as if you are in this truth and in the way of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. The book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not upon thine own understanding, upon your own mindset, your own opinion, your own feelings. He rubbed me wrong. Man, he was looking at me in the way. I mean, he me more me. He me more me. Like, are you serious, man? Mean mugging. There's nothing. There's nothing that you can do in the presence of of him. Of him, has suspects you. I believe there was a scripture which also spoke about counsel not with a man that suspects you. If somebody suspects you and, and only looks upon you in the way of trying to find fault, trying, it looks at you with hate, with a with a grudgeful eye, with a hateful eye. It doesn't matter what you do. Any any misstep. Any step on 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 the shell sounding too loud, he looks at you. Mean like, nigga, you just stepped on an eggshell. Like like, you don't you don't even want to be near somebody who is a hothead like this. So, the most I had things sorted in a way that I broke away from from that whole situation, from from between me and him. 
did it prevent me or did it stop me from serving the Heavenly Father? It did not. He he wanted to see differently, and and he he has displayed that he would love to wanted to see differently. That I would lose the Holy Spirit, you know. When you take a step towards me saying that I'm not allowed to teach while I'm suspended, when I'm when I'm asking why am I not allowed to teach? Why why are you why are you forcing me not to teach? I didn't break down. I didn't drop no breakdowns which were not right. You just wanna withhold me to teach because you know how passionate and how much joy. And, and, and satisfaction I get out of serving the Lord. So you wanna you just wanna you just wanna hurt me and 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 cause my light to go out quietly. But guess what? I ain't gonna allow anyone, no one upon this earth I will allow to let my light go out quietly. No one. So you can say like yo, you buck up, you buck up. I bucked up for the fact that you wanted me to to uh to be suspended and not to teach. And then he got angry. And I didn't even react. And I can show you this, the text messages, man. You know, if I need to show, I will show the text messages how, how the whole thing went down, man. I didn't even say anything. Because anything, I didn't say anything wrong. You know? Let me just go and get the scripture first, man. In that situation, I didn't say anything. I, I brought out scriptures. I mentioned like, you want to you wanna punish me. You want to punish me. But you now, now all of a sudden you want to you want to force upon me that I'm not along with the teach. Like, what is that? I dropped the scripture of Jeremiah, like how Jeremiah wanted to stop uh, teaching, but the fire was inside of him. You know, I dropped the, the scripture from Thessalonians. Isn't the word as a fire quench quench not the spirit that one? And that's what he did. He wanted to quench the spirit, man. Oh man, so let's let me get the scripture first, man. It's like I'm all over the place because there are a lot of things going on in my mind, man. As I'm going through things and reading it, I can I can see the whole situation in front of me again, man. The book of uh, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 16. Thou shalt not go up and down and be a tailbearer among thy people, neither shall thou stand against uh, the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord Yahweh. And this goes in on to the fact that he called me a thief. I do understand this this how the situation went i'm not going to go into it in all details i'm, I'm going to point out the point when i was in, a, in a, the morning i was sitting there and i was talking with him i was talking with him and we talked about the situation which we the council which we talked about before you know he was at a point of of uh, suspending me and uh he he mentioned about yeah uh uh you know that when somebody gets suspended or kicked out of the camp, uh, uh, that man loses the Holy Spirit. Somebody looking at him like, okay, so what do you want? You want me to lose the Holy Spirit? And then he went on, he was like, yeah, this was concerning the brother, the brother Tommy, who is now in the camp. I came with him. I brought, I brought, actually, I went, I asked the brother, like, come, let's go. You got to check out the brothers. This is the camp. So, you know, so I really, I really wanted him to, to enter into the camp. And he said like, yeah, I can see that he's gonna, he's gonna replace you. So again, I looked at him, I'm like, you can see, or is this what you're planning? This is what, uh, this is what's on your mind. And this is what you're planning to do. Like in my mind, I was like, man, I, I see where you're going. You, your anger, your hate is so deep that you truly, you truly would like to see me losing the Holy Spirit. And when somebody loses the Holy Spirit, it becomes a bug out starting to say all type of things all type of crazy things maybe towards him or doing all type of bugged out things which is completely against against the holy spirit of the most high and 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 start uh, uh becoming a scoffer against the against the apostles because that's what you most of the time see if there's any situation between uh uh, uh him or brother uh who who was who was someone who was in his truth the most of the the most of them are carnal minded so they, they go back and forth and dirt throwing. From the dirt throwing, they, they, they aim, they, they're starting to aim the arrows towards the elder, the elder apostles, talking about the tides, talking about being rapists, talking about all, all type of madness, man. Listen, man, I have no part in none of that, man. I'm here to serve you. How about you, I served the Heavenly Father before I came to Camp Holland, and I'm serving the Heavenly Father 
even after being sent away from Camp Holland. And I give double honors unto my teachers, my elders from who I learned this truth and from whom I'm still learning, man. And your hate, your anger, your grudge, your bitterness towards me is not going to change that, man. It's not going to change anything, you know? So um, now we get to the point of, of about, the, about the, the thievery, right? He calling me a thief. And I already explained partly how this went down, but I will explain it again. I'm sitting there in the morning. I'm talking with him, and he's saying these things about uh, if if you get replay, if you get kicked, a new body comes in. You you this how camp is in the camp Holland. You lose the Holy Spirit. I'm looking at him like, okay, yeah. you know, we talk. I'm like, so you want me to lose the Holy Spirit? Oh, you're gonna you you're gonna replace me? That's what you you're about. So I'm looking at the time till a certain point, and I'm like, yo, at this time, at uh, I mentioned, I believe it was around two or two or three I mentioned like I have to go I'm going to home and I'm gonna take the train I live three hours driving with the train towards my home so he says like I'm going which I'm gonna prepare so he's preparing goes upstairs puts on the music and when he's preparing to leave he is taking his time he doesn't mind about your schedule he is not in a way that he's going to move quick because you are on the schedule he will take his time and he really thinks that you just you just move your schedule only for how he is going to be. So I'm sitting downstairs still listening to music as well. And I lose I lose track of the time as well. Till the point that I look to the clock, I'm like, yo, hey, I gotta go. And I mention it onto him, I gotta go. I ran to the I ran to the uh the, the sleeping room where I sleep when I'm staying over at this place. I take my stuff, put all my stuff in my in in my bag. Uh, and uh, while I'm moving from the from the sleeping room to the to the living room, I mentioned again, Ark, hey, I gotta go. If you're coming, I see you with the metro. I ran to the to the living room. I grabbed my phone and I grabbed the charger that is on the phone and I put it in my bag. In my haste, boom, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving his house. But ran up the stairs, go to the metro. While I'm going to the metro, I see him coming and he enters into the metro. And together we go from with the metro to the train. And as we move from, um, as I'm as I'm entering into the metro, and the doors are clo uh, as I'm entering into the train, so like, yeah. as I'm entering into the train, and the doors are closing. He says, "Oh yeah, hey, you're not allowed to make fits." And the doors close, boom. And I'm like, "Yo, what? Are you serious? Like, yo, I'm like, do he? <laughs> hey, <laughs> he know he never he never ever never." Did he did he did he suspended anyone and told them you are no you're not allowed to teach? I'm like, yo, what are you doing, man? What is this about, man? You got so much I text him back. I'm like, um I, I believe I text the, the book, the scripture in Isaiah 32 concerning the uh uh the thirst and the, and the food, you know? Uh, don't don't take away the the, the the drink, something in those ways, but it's speaking about the word. Then I dropped the scripture in uh, John 21 concerning Simon. Simon, if thou lost me, feed my sheep. And then I dropped the scripture from... Uh, uh, what's the scripture in the book of Sirach? Let me get it. I want to show that scripture. Because after I dropped that scripture, he got, he got so angry. He got so angry. You know? And, and he gets angry every time when I pull out the scriptures, he gets angry. Because he wants me to react carnal. He, he would like to see me get carnal. Angry and, and spilling and, and, and cussing. And I'm, but I'm not like that, man. I just stay calm and I just drop scriptures and I explain why and what I stand for. The book of 4.22 uh, for Sirach. Accept no man against thy soul and let not the reference of any man cause thee to fall. I explained unto him like, I respect you, Ak. But to suspend me and also to withhold me from serving the Heavenly Father is not a right move. You know, you never did that unto anybody. And now, now, as you know that I'm passionate and I love to serve the Lord, you want to, you want to, you want to do this unto me. Like, what, what is your intent? You really want to see me fall, stumble out of this truth. You really want to silence me. You want to quench that fire, man. Then I dropped the scripture of Jeremiah about the fire inside of me. And then he got angry and more 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 angry. And more angry you know, uh, uh, concerning concerning uh, uh you're not going to teach you know you're not going to teach and this and that and then he said like yeah you're suspended uh uh i will be suspended one month and 
I have the text messages. I was not longer re reacting on him anymore. He was just in his berserkness, continually talking minutes after this within the same minutes. This is this we're talking about seconds. If the time is 15:39, if I'm, if as I can recall, so in my mind, he's saying something like, "Oh no, you know you're suspended two months. You know what? Three months. Make me angry. Go on, go on, keep talking. You know what? You're suspended four months now. You're suspended four months." Just do it. Just do it like Nike. You spend it five months. It went something in that way. And then I reacted like, ah, I'm, merely, I'm, merely con I'm merely communicating with you concerning the sheep. You know what? You spend it six months. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to go back and forth with him. And this is this is some next level power tripping uh, 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 madness, which I'm not going to feed. You know, I was already at the point like, you know what? I'm gonna leave this place. I'm gonna show you how about Shimei Shai by myself. I really don't need this, man. I don't need this. I don't need this. You know? So, I uh, I was at that point. I was like, you know what? Leave it, man. I'm not even looking at my phone anymore. I'm just going. This, he keeps going on, man. You know, this, 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 this is his spirit, man. I'm not even looking at the phone anymore. I'm like, man. <sighs> just leave it man just looking outside just just when i'm moving from amsterdam to my house i got all type of field man just grass and green and everything man just just looking outside and just meditating on things in my mind praying to the most high like asking the most high like is this really a fair way of dealing with things you know is this is this right is this is this is this right man it ain't right you know but hey, that's what that's how the situation went. I come home and um, I open up uh, I open up my bag and all the stuff and I, and I see I see the I see the charger and in my head I'm already like oh man this man is gonna start some bullshit over the charger and it began yeah do you got my charger you stole it I don't know the most I I already know what the most I did in text message. If you think I'm lying, I'm showing you. If if I have to show these things, I will show these things, man. And I can show you because that's how it went, man. Before I can even begin to say I have your charger, he already started, man. You have my charger. Oh, yeah, I know the most I put it on you to steal my charger. Ha, 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 ha. So that you can get the full, complete curse upon you. Ha, 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 ha. If you don't give my charger back within before Saturday, every day that a charger is in your house, let it be a curse unto you. Every prayer that you have should be a curse unto you and let Satan sit next to you. This is this is what he's casting and speaking towards me over a, 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 a camera phone, a camera charger that I used in his house to charge up my phone, which I accidentally took in my haste. Come on, man. This is what this is what bitterness and grudge is doing with a man. And it, 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 it's crazy, but I but I'm still remaining my calmness while I'm dealing with the whole situation. He demands from me that I go to Amsterdam, which is a three hour a, 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 a travel after kicking me out of the camp and demanding from me that I go to his house to give him to give him the, the, the charger. So I already said, like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to send it to your house. No, you're not. I'm, and I asked him, like, what is your address? He didn't want me to give his address. I'm like, yo, why you don't give me an address? He didn't want me to give the address. He said, send it to the tobacco store, which is which is a, a place, just a store, where you can buy tobacco and all type of, you know, magazines and all type of top type of, type of shit. He says, send it to the tobacco store. He gave the address of the tobacco store. I'm like, yo. Why you want me to send it to the tobacco store? He says, send it over there and then I will pick it up. But if it goes missing, the blood is upon your hand. The curse is on you. I'm like, yo, what what the hell is wrong with you, man? Like, th this is his mind, man. You, you, I hope you understand how he really thinks and how he moves, man. This is how he moves. So I, I already know that they, you can't send the package over there and that you pick it up. It works like this. If you order something and he orders many things, so he knows how it goes. So he willfully tries to send me, trying to send me the package to a place where it would go missing so that he could say, if it goes missing, the blood is upon you, the curse is upon you. 
it goes like this if you order something from a from a from a from any shop and they send the package to you and you're at home they will leave a paper in your mailbox and they say you can pick your package from this local point which which most of the time is is also at the back stores also has a a, a post and, and package uh, sending type uh, type of shit within the store that's how it works so i knew that this what he was doing was another another wishful and uh, a cursing and an evil uh, evil injurious practice like how it is mentioned in the book of Shirak chapter 10 verse 6 this, this is an example of those injurious practices that he's doing the way how he didn't want me to teach when i was suspended another example of injurious practices but to stay focused on the situation about ex calling me a thief and how and how i dealt with the situation concerning the charger he i called i called at the back store and asked him can you send if somebody wants me to wants to get a package can i can i send the package to y'all and that he goes picking it up because he lives in your neighborhood they tell me no it can't i'm like okay i know enough thank you boom i hang up i tell him like the thing that you're saying that i that you expect for me to do is impossible and and i already knew it and you know it why do you want me to send it this <laughs> So I, so I contact the elder Naka, which is the head of Camp Holland, and I asked Stellan. He asked, first of all, he asked me like, did, do you know the address or have you, have you sent the charge of, of, of Yamaala? I explained unto Naka, the head of Camp Holland, uh, that I want to send the charge about Yamaala. Does not want me to give his address? So now I'm in a situation stuck and I'm like, you know what? I know where he stays because I've stayed many a times at his house and his house. I know where it is, but I don't know the street name out of the top of my dome or the number. So I use Google Map and I know his streets. Now I know his streets. I sent I, and I, I went to the post office and I sent it registered parcel, which means in order to receive the package, you gotta open the door and sign it. That's how I send it to him, you know? Because I know how it goes. You you, you might send it just normally and you say, look, it's missing, man. It's, it's missing, man. You just told me, you stop, and then I can't. You, you will end up in another, another effery. You know, so I sent it in that way towards him, and then he got angry. Then he came up with things like, "I'm I'm a coward for not bringing it and delivering and looking in face to face." I'm like, "Are you serious? Now you want to call me a coward? But you wanted me to send it towards the towards a a a back store. But if I would send it to a back store, then I wouldn't be a coward. Like um this, like you know, when when I'm just sitting and thinking about these things, I'm like, you know." I'm not, I'm not gonna go back and forth with him concerning the things that 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 he that he does that the things that he says towards me. I ain't about that, man. I have no time. I have no time for it, man. You know. So then it goes on. Um, then I, let me let me go to this scripture, man. Let me go to this scripture. The book of Matthew. This this scripture is key in the whole situation, man. And it's in the Lord's Prayer, man. The book of Matthew chapter 6. This is what the scripture says. Let me see how long we are. One and a half hour. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it long. Straight to the point, say things, and I'm gonna wrap things up, man. So that you will understand how my mind was and is in this truth. I ain't about beef, I ain't about art. I'm about fixing things. But if we can't fix things, then hey. Then I do I do my thing in serving the Lord, hoping for mercy and hoping to obtain a salvation. You do you, you do your thing in, in maintaining and hoping for, 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 for the most high's mercy and getting salvation. But don't focus upon me, man. The book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. It says, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive you your trespasses. You if you if you're not capable of forgiving, Understand that the Heavenly Father is not going to forgive you, man. You know? This this warring against me, you know, even made a statement, I will I will make you to get enemies in high places. That already tells me like the way how his mind towards me is is about trying to put people against me. You you're gonna be in the spirit of speaking about me towards others. That that's that's what that's what you tell me by making a statement. I, I'm, I'm gonna make you to call to get enemies in high and high places again again going back to your position and using your position in order to convince others about me 
but no none of those people really talk with me so a true judge is understanding like they, they, you're not just gonna listen to one side of the story man but understand that you're gonna have you're gonna have people that cleave that cleave and that look onto a position if a man is second in command in a high position they just flock and they just they just believe those words man the book of Psalms chapter 120 verse 7 I am for peace but when I speak they are for war I'm all for peace I was all for solving you know but if you can't solve things with a man who's only out for war who's striving there's 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 no there's nothing you can do man there's nothing you can do so after all those things after meditating and sitting the word day of atonement popped up in my mind I was like, yo, what about what about the Day of Atonement? How how did he get the Day of Atonement? What what did the Day of Atonement represent for him? Because on the Day of Atonement, you confess unto Yahweh Bashim and all your faults and you ask for forgiveness. In order to be forgiven, you need to forgive. That in the spirit, in the spirit, the the he the brother made that video as well. If you can't forgive, this is in the spirit but even below this fit and it's in the most high the most high the most high blocked his foolish this is, i'm gonna tell you straight up what it is his foolish comment even below a video like this where it's speaking about forgiving being ca capable of forgiving he still continued with his ranting and his madness man and the most high the most time that way like you he's just blocking and, and not even allowing that that madness to pop up like you 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 just display yourself again in a way with it. Others will look at it like, come on, man. You, you still, you, you're still going on. You're still going on. And don't understand about what and how he's going on. And things are being said in ways, man. <sighs> My day of atonement went different, man. I kept it. It's two years ago. This, those are two days of atonement, man. You know? I forgave him for all that he did unto me. And he knows, and he knows, and Yahweh Bashim Shai knows what he did, all the things that he did and said towards me. I forgive. I let go and I move and I focus upon my goal. And I prayed for, for forgiveness for my sins, also for the things I wasn't even aware of towards him and other brothers in this truth, or the sisters on the Day of Atonement. That's what I did on the Day of Atonement. So my mind was not about having art against him. But he opened up in his comments, I let it be known I have art against him. You had art. But then you still dare to put that scripture about if you go to the art, if you have he puts the Matthew 522 and tries to tries to bring it pull it upon me. I'm like, do you even understand? But then he quickly, he quickly changed it. Now you don't see the words he, I have art against you because most likely. He got pointed out towards that madness that was said. He was like, oh, sh I got to change this. I got to change this. You know how it goes. Now all of a sudden you don't see it standing here. But I know it was standing there because it, it, it stood out. It stood out. I was like, yo, do you know what, you, what are you saying, man? What are you saying? Now he said, he, he said exactly what it is. He has art. He has art. I don't have art. He has that art. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 12. Who can understand his arrows? Cleanse thou me from my secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. The moment when, when, I, when I was keeping the day of atonement, I prayed the Heavenly Father to cleanse me from my sins, my arrows, and my secret sins, things that I'm not even aware of. How I hurt and how I've offended brothers, sisters, anybody in this truth. I pray and I beg the most that to be merciful and to cleanse and to forgive me for that, man. Also those that did things unto me in their not awareness, in their presumptuousness, I forgive them. Even if they didn't came to me and said, Ak Salakia for what I did. Even if they were not aware, because if they were not aware, they wouldn't come to me. I can't expect from someone to come to me if they are not aware of what they do wrong unto me. So I forgive. I forgive in order for the most time to forgive me for, because I acknowledge that I make mistakes. I ain't going to be in a spirit like me without fear and thinking like I can hold, I can hold onto what a person has done unto me and think like I'm without fault and I can stand before the most time. That's not my mind. 
that's not my mind man in the book of Sirach chapter 28 I'm about to wrap things up man because I was not planning to go on too long but hey this is how the spirit goes man this is how the spirit goes the book of Sirach chapter 28 Wow, what am I doing here? Okay, the book of Sirach chapter 28 verse 2, it reads, Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he had done unto thee, so, that the, so shall thy sins also be forgiven when thou prayest. That's, that's, that's where it's about. On the day of atonement, you forgive your neighbors, anyone. Anyone that did things unto you, you forgive them. You're not going to be in the spirit like, no, he didn't came to me, he didn't say salachia, he didn't ask for forgiveness, so I'm not going to forgive him. I'm not going to be in that way because I understand what the scripture says and what it means if you would be in that way. You only destroy yourself. You do self-affliction when you want to hold onto that bitterness, onto that hate, onto that grudge. One man buried hatred against another and does he seek pardon from the Lord? Are you still asking the Most High for forgiveness of your sins as you, as you keep that hatred towards me? He showed no mercy to a man. You don't show mercy towards me. And you can keep keep repeating that you, you never admitted, you never once said sincerely Salachia. You can convince yourself in these things, but the most high knows, man. The most high knows how I sincerely apologize, but you didn't deem it sincerely. So now you got a loophole to justify the hate that is growing inside of you, man. He she with no mercy to a man which is like him. I'm in the I'm in the flesh upon this earth. It's the same way like how you were in the flesh upon this earth. But you don't want to extend you're the forgiveness. You don't want to. You don't want to forgive when I ask for forgiveness. You want to react in a way by saying, "Yo, no, it was not sincere." <laughs> and does he ask forgiveness for his own sins? If he that is but flesh nourish hatred, who will entreat for pardon of his sins? Remember thy end, and let enmity cease. Remember corruption and death, and abide in the commandments. Walk in the ways of the Most High, leave off that carnal mind. Remember the commandments and bear no malice to thy neighbor. Remember the covenant of the highest and wink at ignorance. Don't don't let that malice grow inside of you, man. You know? And even and get into an understanding like there's there are certain things being done, certain things being said, which we're not even fully understood, man. Understand that there are always spirits playing a big role in whatever is taking place between brothers in this truth man and when you know that these things are real your mind should be in a merciful uh, 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 calm and, mo and mostly looking for solving uh, uh, things in this truth man not in a mind state like man but you did that you did this and did that you trying to you trying to you trying to get a whole track sheet of mistakes you want to point out you want to reiterate all the mistakes continually did, what, what is that man it's an environment which makes it not even pleasant to be in, man. You know? And I'm not saying that correction is no part of this truth, but the way how you do things, man. It's it's the way how you do things, man. You 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 just you just you just fired up to burn somebody down over the most pettiest things you're trying to bigger and, and, and expand things in ways how they didn't vent. Betraying, betraying uh, 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 portraying me in a way like yo man what is that man it says abstain from strife and thou shalt diminish thy sins for a furious man will kindle strife he is a furious man the hate the anger that is inside it is it it, it. words can measure it man the grudge level is is going out of the roof the way how how he displays himself i sincerely tell you i've never ever seen somebody in this truth displaying this type of hate grudge bitterness man nobody nobody he, he's the he's the only one i've seen man i've seen you know <laughs> if that man she like when when i'm when i'm about fiery but then it's still it's still the 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 spirit towards towards mainly to to heathens you know i don't know if i'm pronouncing his his name right but the uh the, the Maka one, I believe that's his name, right? The way how fire it up and he, <laughs> uh, man. But I don't, I don't know where he is. 
you know just just to to throw it out there i don't know where he is that if if we can compare certain energy then hey you you might you might compare it onto into that energy but i wouldn't even i wouldn't even uh, put it in the same jacket because it is it is the that it is that energy that he actually channeled towards heathens and the, and those who were not in this truth instead of those who are in this truth and keeping it keeping it buckled up towards them that are sincerely striving to be to to, to hope to be part of the elect that's the, that's a whole different mind and a whole different way of being man you know so uh a sinful man disquieted friends and make a debate among them that be at peace listen man i had no trouble i was not busy with fighting against you the the video came from regal he seized the moment to jump on it and to order all his 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 bitterness and and starting to beef and and i'm just sitting and thinking like <laughs> wow you know and i really took the time to meditate about this man i was out like i said man night shift working from 10 to 6 my whole rhythm was different but i took the time to meditate i was not even focused on making fit i was like i want to deal with this situation in the right way man i want to tell the people how it went how my mind was how i tried how i remained calm you know but if it doesn't work, then hey, then it, then it, then apparently things are not supposed to be, or they're not, they're just not appointed to to walk in a way where things can be solved. You know, it's not, it's not, it's simply not always that things will be solved. Apparently, you know, and that's uh, <laughs> Frank Sinatra, Frank Sinatra would say that's life. You know, but um, he didn't forgive at the day of atonement. He kept it. He kept bitter, he kept grudgeful, but yet seeking uh, seeking mercy and forgiveness for, for his sins at the Lord, man. You know? And I have to repeat it again, man. So let me go to the book of uh, Matthew 5 and 22. Because in his comment, he said, I have ought against him, and I say it again. I have no ought against him. I'm not, I'm not busy with fighting against him, man. I am not busy with that, man. He said, I have ought against him. Let it be known I have ought against him. That those were the words. And now all of a sudden you can't you can't read it anymore. The book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 22. But I say unto you, whosoever that it, that whosoever in, in is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother Raka shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there remembers that thy brother had ought against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar and go thy way first reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer thy gift. Well, I, I did. I tried and I tried and I tried. But he didn't allow to be reconciled with me. He kept the hate, he kept the grudge and I, and I kept doing what I have to do for the most time. It does not, it does not mean that if one is not willing to reconcile that you are no longer allowed to teach you are the one who are is in this man hey you hey the, 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 there's some dangerous games being played over here man dangerous games are being played man dangerous games finger pointing games and, and really thinking that you're doing the right thing man while i'm trying and stretching out and 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 Hoping that things can be solved, man. I prayed unto the Most High. The Most High gave me a vision, man. You don't even answer, reply upon that vision, man. I ask you, man. But then you want to reply and you want to jump on the video where Ragal is correcting me concerning my camp. You see what type of energy you, you, you deliver, man. You just portray, you show yourself, man. You do know, you do understand that, man. it's a self cut you know that's what it is man you know the description Hebrews from 12 but I'm gonna I'm I'm finish it man to me like I said to me all of this all these words all of that that I had to make and to put in this video today wasn't supposed to be even necessary it wouldn't it wasn't it wasn't even needful it shouldn't even be uh, needful to make a video about these topics but apparently it's needful because 
you don't need you you don't hear these type of videos a lot you know the 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 the, the topics about grudge about how men keep grudge and bitter destructive how they justify it how you got men in high positions portraying just just utter madness man and really thinking that there's nothing wrong with what they do and they will get away with it man thinking that when you are high high in position or older brother that you can do and say whatever you want man but to the spirit and power of the lord the lord sees everything man and then you dare to say that i don't fear the lord man look in the mirror and ask yourself if you fear the lord when you display yourself in these type of wicked ways man but it's cool man you know this is all this is all i have to say about it man I'm, I'm i only made the video to show you how i stood in it how i tried how my mind was on the day of atonement how i already forgave how already how i many a time asked for forgiveness but if a man reacts like you and not sincere in your in your salakia in your forgiveness what do you want from me you just want you just want me to get judged and you say it many a time you wish me to get judged you hope that i lose the holy spirit so that you can make your mockery videos you can have a blast on your comment board you can just live out what you do always because you think that this truth is about destruction you really think that this truth is all about hate and 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 and, and anger and wrath but yahweh shai didn't came in that way yes he's going to bring destruction but the Most High, his beloved son, was focused upon healing his name. He is the physician. He is healing the people. Your focus is about destruction. You're bitter, man. You're bitter. Keep your bitterness. Just, just keep, keep your bitterness away from me, man. Just keep it away from me, man. Don't bring it over here because I, I ain't down with it, man. You know? So, hey. This is what I wanted to bring out, man. Lord willing, it's edifying. You know, I will be occupied in prophesying and doing what I have to do. You may not like this video because you may you may like him. You may like because he is on a, on a higher position. Or you may like how he teach me, but I don't care about that, man. I'm not in this truth to become buddy-buddy with people. You don't even have to like me, man. This video is to show you how it, get, how it went down and how I, how, how I had to deal with a man like this. And how I maintained myself in calmness, man. Bearing all these things. And am I perfect? I ain't perfect. I made mistakes. I made mistakes also to him. But I asked for forgiveness. And if you don't want to forgive, it's fine by me. I keep it moving. Shalom.